Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Live. Today is 29th April. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So, watch the video very carefully and try to answer the questions asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the video from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as Telegram groups. Also, you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for Hindi current affairs is given there. Friends, before moving forward, let us have a look at yesterday's question. Which country ranked first in Index of Cancer Preparedness ICP 2019? And the correct answer is D. Australia. Hello friends. Let's look at the first question for today. Who became the first Indian woman scientist to be awarded Fellowship of the Royal Society, FRS, United Kingdom? And the correct answer is Option C, Gagandeep Kang. Gagandeep Kang becomes first Indian woman scientist to be awarded Fellowship of the Royal Society, United Kingdom. Gagandeep Kang is a clinical scientist she is well known for her key role in development of Rotavac. She is currently appointed as Executive Director of Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Faridabad. Rotavac is India's first indigenously developed vaccine for rotavirus infections, which is responsible for childhood diarrhea. The Rotavac was developed by Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech Limited and Pune-based Serum International. Let us have a look at Fellowship of the Royal Society, FRS. It is the oldest scientific academy since 1663. The award is sponsored by Royal Society of London. The award recognizes the individuals who made substantial contribution to improvement of natural knowledge in fields of natural knowledge, including mathematics, engineering science, and medical science. Let's move towards the second question for today. Which country hosted the second Belt and Road Forum? The correct answer is Option A, China. The second edition of Belt and Road Forum was held in Beijing, China from April 25th to April 27th, 2019. The theme of this event was Belt and Road Cooperation, Shaping a Brighter Shared Future. Around 37 heads of state and 159 countries participated along with United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres and International Monetary Chief Christine Lagarde. The Belt and Road Forum is a part of the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. The idea of BRI was first proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013. Let's learn about China. President of China is Xi Jinping. Prime Minister Li Keqiang. Capital of China is Beijing. And the currency is Ren Minbimbi. Friends, today's third question. Dash along with its life insurance partner, Canara HSBC OBC Life launched Web Assurance. The correct answer is A. Canara Bank. Canara Bank and its life insurance partner, Canara HSBC Oriental Bank of Commerce Life Insurance launched Web Assurance to enable its customers to purchase life insurance in a convenient and hassle-free way. The total four life insurance products of Canara HSBC OBC Life would be made available to its customers with various facilities like covering the key needs of child future, savings and investments, retirement planning and protection. Through the web assurance, the bank will be able to service the protection needs of its younger and net savvy customers. This life insurance is jointly owned by 
Canara Bank 51% and Oriental Bank of Commerce 23% and HSBC Insurance Holdings 26%, the Asian insurance arm of HSBC. Let's have a look about Canara Bank. It was founded on 1969 as Canara Bank. The government nationalized the bank in 1969. Its headquarters is in Bangalore, Karnataka. Its chairman is Sri T. N. Manoharan. And the tagline is, together we can. Friends, today's fourth question. Who claimed the London Marathon crown? The correct answer is... Option B, Eliud Kipchog. Kenyan Eliud Kipchog clinched his fourth London Marathon 2019 crown on 28th April at London, UK. Kipchog strode clear of the field to win with the second fastest ever time off, 2 minutes 2.37 seconds. He set the world record time of 2 minutes 1.39 seconds at Berlin in 2018. In the women's section, Bridget Kosge won the title. She finished the course in 2 minutes 18.20 seconds. She defeated Vivian Cheriot and Rosa Dereje. In men's category, Eliud Kipchog from Kenya finished at 2 minutes 2.37 seconds. Mosinet Jeremev finished at 2 minutes 2.55 seconds. And Mule Vasihun finished at 2 minutes 3.16 seconds. In the women category, Bridget Kosge from Kenya finished at 2 minutes 18.20 seconds. Vivian Sheriot from Kenya finished at 2 minutes 20.14 seconds. And Rosa Dereje finished at 2 minutes 20.51 seconds. Friends, today's fifth question. Who won the Barcelona Open 2019 Championship? The correct answer is... Option D, Dominic Thiem. Dominic Thiem clinched the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell 2019 title held at Barcelona, Spain. He secured 6-4-6-0. The Austrian became just the fourth player in the past 15 years to lift the title in Barcelona, joining Rafael Nadal, Kei Nishikori and Fernando Verdasco. He's also the first Austrian winner at this event since Thomas Muster in 1996. Thame now has 13 ATP Tour titles, nine of which have come on clay. Let's have a look about Barcelona Open 2019. It was held between 22nd and 29th April. It was the 66th edition and it took place in Barcelona, Spain. Let's have a look at the champions now. In singles, Austria Dominic Thiem won and in doubles, Colombia Juan Sebastian Cabell and Colombia Robert Farah won. Friends, today's sixth question. Which country partnered with India for polishing technicians in manufacturing sector? The correct answer is... Option C, Japan. Japan partnered with India for polishing technicians in manufacturing sector. Japan's ambassador to India, Kenji Hiramatsu, inaugurated the Japan-India Institute for Manufacturing, JIM, a residential skill training center at Andhra Pradesh. JIM is part of a manufacturing skill transfer promotion program initiated by the government of Japan in India under a Memorandum of Understanding signed by the two countries in 2016 to impart training to 30,000 Indian youth in manufacturing soft skills. Several Japanese companies are collaborating in this initiative to create a pool of skilled manpower for manufacturing units in India. Manufacturing in India emerged as one of the high growth sectors in India. Prime Minister's Make in India initiative successfully gained position on the world map as a manufacturing hub 
giving global recognition to the Indian economy. Let's have a look about Make in India. It was launched on 25th September 2014 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It functions under Ministry of Finance and it covers around 25 sectors of the economy. Let's move towards the seventh question for today. India has raised the import duty on wheat to dash from 30% to support local farmers. The correct answer is Option D, 40%. India has raised its import duty on wheat to 40% from 30% to support local farmers. India is the world's number two producer of the grain. Local wheat prices have fallen over 11% in 2019 due to ample supply from last year's crop and forecasts of record output. The hike in duty is likely to make imports of wheat unavailable for floor mills even after recent declines in global prices, potentially dragging further on global grain markets. According to the estimates from the country's agricultural department, India's wheat production will rise 2% in 2019 from the year before to a record 99.12 million tons. Friends, today's eighth question. Which of the following corridor has been excluded from the list of projects covered by BRI umbrella? The correct answer is... Option A, Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar. India's decision to skip the Belt and Road Forum may have led to the exclusion of the Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar Economic Corridor from the list of projects covered by the Belt and Road Initiative umbrella. In an annex tagged with the joint communique of the Leaders' Roundtable of the BRF, the Chinese Foreign Ministry website has not listed the BCIM as a project covered by the BRI. BRI is the giant connectivity initiative spread by China to revive the ancient Silk Road across Eurasia and Africa. The BRF was concluded in Beijing, China, South Asia is covered by three major undertakings. 1. The China-Myanmar Economic Corridor 2. The Nepal-China Trans-Himalayan Multi-Dimensional Connectivity Network including Nepal-China Cross-Border Railway and number 3. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC Friends, today's ninth question. Which country won the 23rd Asian Athletics Championships? The correct answer is B. Bahrain. The 2019 Asian Athletics Championships was the 23rd edition of the Asian Athletics Championships. The four-day event was held at the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha, Qatar. It was held from 21st April to 24th April 2019. Bahrain topped the medal tally with 11 goals and total of 22 medals, followed by China with a total of 29 medals with 9 gold, and Japan with total of 18 medals with 5 gold. India clinched the fourth spot with 3 golds. India backed 3 gold, 7 silver and 7 bronze with a total of 17 medals. Let's have a look at the Asian Athletics Championships 2019. The championships was organized by the Asian Athletics Association in Doha, Qatar. Around 43 nations participated and there were around 43 events. The 22nd Asian Athletics Championships was held in Bhuvaneshwar, India. The next slide will show you the list of the medals won by the first four ranked countries. Friends, today's last question. 
which day is celebrated as International Dance Day? The correct option is Option B, April 29th. Let's learn about this. International Dance Day is observed globally on 29th of April. In 1982, the Dance Committee of ITI founded International Dance Day to be celebrated. The birthday of Jean Giors Nover, creator of Modern Ballet. The intention of the International Dance Day message to celebrate dance, revel in the universality of this art form, cross all political, cultural and ethnic barriers and bring people together with a common language, dance. Friends, now we move towards today's question. Where was the 22nd edition of Asian Athletics Championships held? Friends, please try to answer this question and type your correct option in the given below comment box. Thank you. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find information provided in our video useful, please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Until then, this is Freshers Life signing out from current affairs video. Take care.